Hi, I'm Jim. I have a truck topper camper and I am constantly looking for ways to improve my camper or to reduce the amount of stuff I have to carry when camping. In my first video, I showed my shower setup, which consisted of an Ecotemp L5 water heater with a 20 pound propane tank, a 12 volt water pump with a five gallon jerry can of water and a lot of hose, and a pop up shower tent. That's a lot of stuff to carry just to use for a few minutes a day to get clean, so I've been on the lookout for a more efficient way. Thanks to a sharp guy named Jonathan Ballesteros and his company called Geyser Systems, I have found what I'm looking for. This is the shower system that I'm going to show you how to build in this video. But before we do that, let me take a couple more minutes to tell you a little more about Geyser Systems. What Geyser Systems has done is create a cleaning system that can get you clean even if you are filthy with less than one gallon of water. If you find that as hard to believe as I did, check out their videos on YouTube. And if you like what you see there and can afford it, please support them by buying one. The current selling price for the Geyser System is around $220, which I consider more than fair. However, I know that some of my fellow truck and van campers barely have that much invested in their entire camper setups, so I cobbled together a crude system to deliver water in a similar manner. Including tax, this method of cleaning cost me $16.41, buying all new components at Home Depot, and the only tool I needed to create it was a box cutter. If you have watched many videos about showering solutions for truck or van camping, you've likely run across folks who are using a bug sprayer with a shower head attached to it. This cleaning system is similar, except that I used a small irrigation head with an adjustable flow nozzle and inserted it into a thick sponge. Changing from a shower head to a sponge may not seem to be all that different, but here's where I think the folks at Geyser Systems were truly brilliant. First off, even a water-saving shower head demands a fair amount of water to generate enough pressure to operate. But adding water to a sponge can be done very slowly and with much less water per minute of use. Secondly, a lot of the water from a shower head either bounces off of you or misses you entirely and is wasted. With a sponging system, you can adjust your water flow so the majority of the water is released when you press the sponge against your body, and you can size the sponge so that almost all the sponge surface is in contact with your body while cleaning. Here's another benefit. If you're trying to clean up inside of your van or truck and don't want to fool with a shower curtain, the water that bounces off of you from a shower goes everywhere, and if you point that shower head in the wrong direction for even a second, you've gotten your camper wet. With the sponge system in the right mindset, all of the water that leaves both the sponge and your body falls straight to the ground, and you have a lot better chance of keeping your camper dry. Here's what I bought to build this simple cleaning system, and here's how it goes together. To build this cleaning system, I started with three basic components. The first is a one gallon bug sprayer, and I'm going to move in a little closer and show you the exact one. It's an HDX one gallon. I got it at Home Depot. A large sponge that I also got at Home Depot. And then this Rainbird irrigation system. Uh, this one does uh, has a 180 degree head on the top. I'll show you a little more about that later. All I really had to do here to put all of this together is I unscrewed this little fitting right here. This is the little, it's got a little adjustable valve on it. That's the valve. And then the sprayer head, that's the part here on the end. I unscrewed it. I cut this piece of tubing and this piece of rigid part off of this rigid tube and then I took my sprayer and I cut off part of the wand as you can see here. Now all I have to do is connect the barbed end of this hose into the sprayer and then the fitting screws in right here and it will screw in easily. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. I now have the sprayer system put together and I'm going to show you what I've done here. It was very simple. Again, I connected the hose from the irrigation system into where I cut off on the spray nozzle and then on the irrigation hose where I had shortened the long rigid part, I simply screwed the valve fitting back onto that rigid part 
giving me one long continuous hose that has an on off here that you can lock on or off by sliding by depressing rather and sliding forward an adjustable valve here and an adjustable valve here so if you can picture this you're going to put water in this tank you're going to pump the tank up and then you're going to check your water flow now at this point we're almost done the other thing that I did was I took my sponge here and with my craft knife I cut a slot in it as you can see here next I simply inserted the end of the hose up into the body of the sponge so as that little irrigation head emits water it's going to fill the sponge now that you've seen how the system works and how to build it, let's take a moment to consider water flow and time. With this system, we are starting with roughly a gallon of water. To some degree, determining the flow rate you need is as simple as dividing that gallon of water by the number of minutes you want to spend cleaning up. For example, if you want a four minute shower, you can use about a quart of water per minute. And if you want an eight minute shower, you can use about a pint of water per minute. And while I've limited myself to a one gallon sprayer, you might even choose to use a two gallon sprayer, giving you more flow and or more time, depending on your needs. Once you know how much water you want to use per minute, setting your flow is as simple as adjusting the valve on the sprinkler head and seeing how much water you get in a measuring cup in one minute. When you have finished getting clean, you can simply remove the sponge, wring it out, and put it in a Ziploc bag or leave it out to dry. The geyser system comes with a built-in 12-volt water heating system, which makes it that much more valuable. In my case, I'm heating water either in my microwave or on my camp stove and adding it to my sprayer. Well, that about wraps up this video. I hope you find this idea beneficial, and if you have any questions or if you come up with any further improvements to my ideas, please email me and let me know. Also, let me again urge you to check out the geyser system. I truly think it could be a game changer. Have a great day and thanks for watching.